Hey guys! So today is the first official day of me starting to build the wall up here in our loft. The loft is the area you see behind me that's at the top of our steps and you can check out all of the renovations that I've done up here to date on the blog. By building the wall up here, I'm creating a third bedroom upstairs. Have I ever built a wall before? No. But it looks like there's a lot of videos of guys doing it on the internet, so I figure it can't be that hard, right? The wall that I'm building is going to be a non-structural wall with a doorway, and I want that doorway centered with the chimney that you see behind me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from one wall to another and find my center point and mark it on the two by four that I have on the ground there. That way I can then measure from my center point 16 inches to each side, which will tell me how wide my door frame will be and where it needs to sit, and that will tell me where I need to make my first cut on the two by four before I secure it to the ground. The reason I'm doing 32 inch wide door frame is because the door that I'm gonna be adding up here will be the same width as the other two existing doors up here, which are 30 inches wide. <laughs> so this is my mark that indicates the center of the room. And you can see it looks pretty centered to me. And then I went ahead and measured 16 inches over and marked there. And that's where I'll be making my first cut before I attach the two by four to the floor. All right, so I did the scary part as quickly as I could. The board is attached to the floor. <laughs> and now I need to figure out my stud placement. I'm gonna be spacing them 24 inches apart since this is a non-load bearing wall. All right, so because I'm running the wall right alongside of the door molding there, I did have to fill the gap. So I used a one by four to fill the gap and then I'll put the stud, a two by four stud over the top of that. So everything will be flush. And then, then I had to find the angle of this roof line here because it's different on each side of the room because I will have to cut each of my studs to go with that that are in this area. So to do that, I just set a piece of wood along here and then I marked it and then I set this on my saw where it was marked. I aligned my saw with the mark and it's about 36 degrees. And that is my ankle. Day two, building the wall. And I got this far yesterday. And now I am working on framing out the closet area which is proving to be challenging by myself trying to hold up and screw a 12 foot long board to the ceiling that I can't reach. Looking at the room from this direction, you can kind of see maybe better that this is the area that will be the closet. That's the board that I just attached to the ceiling. And I just went ahead and dropped my plumb bob from there. I'm just kind of playing with it to decide where I want to put the closet door. I'm actually going to be using a door that we found in the barn that's made out of beadboard. It's very similar to those. So it'll be a really simple design. Um, and I can cut it down to any size that I want. So. I put my plumb bob there so that I could kind of play with the sizing. I think I'm gonna do 26 inch opening and make a 24 inch wide doorway. It'll be really narrow, but I mean, this is a small space. And then I can also cut my door at an angle. So that's how I'm gonna frame it out. All right, you guys, check it out. All of the outer frame is done. So tomorrow I can do all of the studs and the two door frames. And here's a view from the other side of the room. It's day three building the wall up here and yesterday I was able to get all of the outer framework done. So today I will be adding the studs and I will be spacing them every 24 inches since this is a non-load-bearing wall.